Deep in the heart of Pennsylvania, there is a town called Centralia. Once a bustling coal mining town, Centralia was home to thousands of people in the early 20th century. But in 1962, a fire ignited in the town's underground coal mines, and it has been burning ever since. The fire has caused the ground to shift, creating dangerous sinkholes that have swallowed up homes, cars, and even entire streets. Toxic gases and smoke rise up from the ground, making the air unsafe to breathe. The town's population dwindled as people fled, but a few die-hard residents refused to leave their homes, even as the town around them slowly crumbled. Today, Centralia is a ghost town, a place where the eerie silence is only broken by the sound of the wind whistling through the empty streets. The abandoned buildings are covered in graffiti, and the once bustling downtown area is now a desolate wasteland. But the most terrifying part of Centralia is the feeling that it is still alive, that the fire still burns beneath the ground, waiting to consume whatever is left. Some people say that the ghosts of the past still haunt the town, that the spirits of the coal miners who died in the mines still roam the streets. Others claim to have seen strange lights and heard strange noises in the dead of night. As you walk through the empty streets of Centralia, you can't help but feel like you're being watched, like something is lurking just beyond your field of vision. The silence is deafening, broken only by the occasional sound of rubble falling from an unstable building. You can almost feel the heat from the fire burning beneath the ground, and you wonder how much longer it will be until the town is completely consumed. Centralia is a place where the past and present collide, where the ghosts of the past still haunt the present. It is a place where the very ground beneath your feet is unstable, where danger lurks around every corner. But it is also a place where the human spirit refuses to be broken, where a few brave souls continue to call it home, even as it slowly crumbles around them.